Today, it'll cost about $4.71 a gallon to fill up with diesel. Now, these high diesel prices have school districts across the area struggling to run their buses. One district, though, seems to have found a way to save $100,000 a year on its fuel cost. Melissa Kelly joins me now in the studio with more. Melissa, 10 school buses in Bentonville have been guinea pigs in a fuel additive pilot program. The superintendent in Bentonville found out about this company in Florida, and the scientists there claimed that they could make the school district's diesel guzzling school buses more efficient with a product called X1R. Bentonville gave it a shot and became part of a pilot program, and officials there say it's working. The wheels on the bus go round and round, burning fuel to a horribly inefficient tune of six miles a gallon. Last year, the Bentonville School District spent $1.2 million on fuel, but this year they hope to spend about $100,000 less. The district superintendent heard about a company making a fuel additive called X1R. Its inventor, a former scientist for Chevron, met with Superintendent Gary Compton. Well, as I said, okay, tell me what it does, and when they got here, and they said basically you add it to your fuel, one ounce for every 20 gallons of diesel fuel, and at $4.50 a gallon for diesel fuel, um, this became kind of attractive to us. It is uh, a detergent of sorts that's basically going to uh, make, your, make you basically uh, expel less emissions, burn leaner, and uh, get more gas mileage out of the product. The transportation manager singled out 10 buses for the pilot study of the X1R product. Total of 10 different buses all driving exactly the same routes and our savings was 8.3 percent uh, less fuel used. School officials were pleasantly surprised. With us spending 1.2 million in fuel every year out of a 100 million dollar budget, that's only one percent, but it's still one million dollars that we're spending on fuel and if I can save 80 or 90 or 100 thousand dollars, I think it's a good thing to try. And they will keep trying this product. They'll use the product in all 120 buses next year. As far as what's in that product called X1R, the school officials say they don't know. It's an industry secret. And also, if you're out there wanting to run out and get you some, you can't get it in stores right now. This is still part of a testing process. Very, very interesting. Okay, Melissa, thank you. Officials with the district say the price of fuel additive is affordable and well worth the savings, as you just heard, to the district. Now, not all 